Lutz, thank you for meeting me today for the interview on entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship education. Uh, my first question is, uh, please briefly introduce yourself and what you do. Hi, Olga. Thanks for your invitation. Uh, my name is Lutz Steinbrück. I'm uh, 48 years old and uh, I'm a freelance journalist, a musician and a poet based in Berlin since 2004 and mostly working uh, from here in my home office. As a journalist, I continually work uh, as an online editor for an Austrian news agency for 20 hours a week since uh, 2011. I write and edit news articles and corporate news, which are also spread by the agency. I also write articles for newspapers, magazines and online media, as well as press releases for various clients, uh, mainly about social and educational issues. In 2020, I started running online workshops via Zoom about online writing for uh, project team members who are involved in innovative agricultural projects all over Germany. Yeah, thank you. How and why did you follow an entrepreneurial career path? After studying German and English literature in Oldenburg, I went to Berlin in 2004 to work here as a full-time journalist. I had already good references and skills from my work as a freelance journalist in Oldenburg and Bremen, but I was already uh, 32 years old back then and it was difficult for me to find a good job as a regular employee because there were so many uh, younger and also well-educated uh, journalists in town, still are. So as a freelance journalist, uh, I like being more independent from a specific employer and or, or a publishing house, um, but it is harder to save money for the pension. Okay, yeah, thank you. So can you give a brief overview over your uh, educational background? Oh, yes. We already started with that, but maybe you can add something. Yeah, yeah of course. In the 1990s, I finished uh, German and English studies at the Karl von Ossietzky University in Oldenburg uh, to become a primary school teacher. After that, I started a traineeship at school, which I gave up after one year. Um, Afterwards, I studied German and English literature uh, at the same university and also started to work as a freelance journalist for local newspapers and magazines. Moving to Berlin in 2004, um, I continued to work uh, as a journalist and wrote articles mainly for newspapers like Taz or Tagesspiegel and for various online magazines. Uh, also Fluter, Fluter.de. In 2006 or 7, I completed a 12-month editorial traineeship at online magazine Berliner Literaturkritik to become an online editor, which I am since then. Mm -hmm. So, did you learn uh, during your educational background career, did you learn about the concept of entrepreneurship or uh, uh, did you learn any uh, entrepreneurial skills during your, during your education already? Um, no, this wasn't an issue uh, during my studies uh, and it was no issue uh, in the course of my editorial traineeship. Uh, but there was one specific workshop at the Karl von Ossietzky University about online journalism, uh, which I attended as a student. Um, that was kind of interesting and gave some information about uh, online journalism. Ah, okay, that was still in the early stages of this 
online journalism thing, I think. Yes, yes, about yeah. 2002 or so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, did you gain any understanding of entrepreneurship from any other sources during your education? So, for example, your friends or family uh, or via career advice services? Um, um, I acquired work experience as a freelance journalist since uh, 2000 and earned money with that uh, during my time as a student. Uh, so, so this was uh, my experience. Um, I, I was my own entrepreneur uh, or freelance journalist as a student, so it was a bit like okay. learning by doing or getting into the practice of journalism by that. Yeah, okay, interesting. So, would you have found it useful to have been provided with more information, advice, guidance focusing on entrepreneurship during your education? Um, it wasn't part of my studies, but uh, information events about entrepreneurship uh, could be useful for many students, I think, and provide them with helpful information uh, in general. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you support, so as you are kind of answered already this question, but maybe in more detail. Would you support the concept of dedicated entrepreneurial focused areas within educational settings? Well, I, I would need more information about uh, such a concept to answer this question properly. <laughs> so okay. I, can't, I can't say any, uh, well, it, it, um, no, I, I can't uh, give more a more detailed an answer to this. Uh. Okay, that's that's fine. So, yeah. And what are the main challenges or difficulties um, you face while uh, pursuing your entrepreneurial endeavor? For me, like uh, most uh, freelance journalists, it is a challenge to establish a regular financial base, um, which means to find enough. Uh, customers or publishing houses which pay you well so um, yeah first uh, most of, of us have to to struggle or not only in the beginning but also during the whole uh, freelance time to um, yeah to get enough jobs um, mm -hmm. you always have to be uh, yeah you always have to look where, where you can get some jobs and yeah yeah, okay. It's I not understand. that easy. Hmm? Yeah. So what advice would you give to a young person who is considering following an entrepreneurial career path? Yeah, for instance, uh, freelance journalism. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a good idea to have at least one customer or publishing house uh, which provides you with permanent orders so that you can establish a continual financial base. Uh, in Germany, uh, yeah, we call it uh, Fester Freier. So you, you are kind of a, a freelance journalist who, who is uh, in a way part of a team, of, a, of um, an employer, and, um, but you are freelance. You're still uh, not, um, yeah, you're, you're not uh, angestellt, you are just, uh, Mm -hmm. Freelancer, so, um, but uh, I have this uh, with my work uh, as an online editor and lecturer at the news agency. And also, uh, networking is uh, very important to get jobs and to make contacts. Uh, it's good to be in touch with potential clients and media, as well as with other act actors from your industry. Um, you. It's, it's the the the, um, the the network is is a very important um, base as well to to have a successful time. Yeah. Okay. I got it. So thank you. One last question: uh, What advice would you give to educators uh, in order to help them encourage the idea of entrepreneurship with their learners? So. 
I think you're a very special entrepreneur as a freelance journalist. So, so yeah, but maybe you can add something to yeah. this question. I think basically educators should encourage their learners uh, to find uh, a meaningful occupation on a personal level and not to be afraid to make mistakes or to change their minds. Um, I think some of them will also uh, have the idea to become an entrepreneur. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, they should really motivate them to, to find their own way and to follow their own interests and passions. Yeah, thank you. I think that's a good uh, finishing of the interview. So thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. And bye. Bye bye.